How many times have you guys seen this angle? Too many. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Wednesday? It right? is Wednesday. Definitely feels like Thursday to me. Definitely feels like Thursday. It's yeah. not. And it's the nicest day in the forecast. Yeah, we said we'd be doing work inside. Yes. And that we would finish the roof at some indeterminate date when there was nice weather. And that's today. And lo and behold, it was like two weeks later. Yeah. Or a week later. I don't even remember what it was. So we're going to keep on with the tradition of doing um, some work that should have been done months ago. And we're going to be doing fascia. Can you even see it from here? I don't think you can. I don't think you can, but so you guys know what it is. Fascia is, a bit, do they? <laughs> I don't know what fascia is. It sounds like a foreign language to me. I'm not gonna lie, but fascia is the outside of like the, the roof, the side of the roof. And so we're just basically covering that. Um, underneath would be soft fit. And you know, I could be wrong. I don't know. That's what I last I, I learned it once. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. So um, anyways, uh, yeah. So we're gonna do that another day too. Probably as late as, a, as possible, honestly. Um, we're really, it's not a traditional soft fit with a vent. It's sealed up, it's airtight actually, but the, Actually, it's not airtight. We're almost there. Almost airtight. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, basically, we'll cover it, and it'll just be like a covering. We're waiting on one more piece for the roof mm -hmm. um, that we did not order, and we, we did order it, but I think it's taken some time because it actually is being painted, which honestly, I probably should have said just no paint. I don't give a crap because it's, it's going to be covered, so That's true. whatever. But um, here we are. You can assume that I was probably up all night the night before um, and yeah I'm not having a good time up until we do it and when we start doing it we just start rolling because I freaking hate being on these ladders it's not just like a little bit on the ladder I mean we're like these the ladder I think the biggest ladder we have is 22 feet um, and then it doesn't even reach the front of the house very well, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm someone, not a big fan. Someone did ask why we don't use a lift a few videos ago, and I don't yeah. know if we ever actually answered it on camera. Mm -hmm. And the answer is, yes, we would love to use a lift. It would yeah. make our lives that much easier, and we would go so much faster. But the grade of the slope on the front of the house is pretty steep. It's, it's a little too steep, and so the lift has to be used where it's flat, right? Yes, true. But the real reason why is because it costs so much money, and, and it's we could still use it. It'd be far further away. Airplanes, I'll fly in an airplane all day if it, if it crashes, and it is what it is. I can't control that. But being on a no, not a fan. <laughs> but we're gonna knock this out because it, it. it needs to get done. It needs to get done, and we're yeah. talking way too long. It's 10:30. We started setting up about 30 minutes ago. Feels like because I said 10 o'clock. It was like five minutes ago we were starting. Definitely, was like five we had a lot of stuff that we got to do in the morning, you know. Keep but, this place uh, running. Yeah, here we go. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Ugh. Just kidding. It's not that bad. <laughs> We are using the nail gun that's gonna give us a lot of trouble, so fingers crossed that somehow it's fixed itself and is better. I will say, I'm very excited to work inside. Now working outside. The good thing about these is that it's like, uh, these are 12 feet long. 12 feet long, so we should only need like a little over two, four, uh, four of these. Oh, that's true. This is fine. Yeah, so one of the problems that we're running into, I don't know if it's my nails or if it's angled or if I just suck at it, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a, it just jams. So luckily you can just open it up and then, well, it would be easy, but this is a little suck. Yeah, and you just kind of unjam it, but it'd be a lot easier if I had my Leatherman, which, has been lost and I don't know why I haven't replaced it. It's probably in the truck on the side by the seat, you know? That's where it was last time for like, what, two, three months? <laughs> I'm like, where's my Leatherman? And then clean out the truck for once a year. If you know me, 
freaking love a clean car, but not this truck apparently because I keep it pretty dirty all the time. We did also make sure that the nails are the right angle. Someone had commented on that last time. We did double check, so it's not that. Uh, we're just trying different things. It's doing a little better than last time. <laughs> Positivity. up on this side we're gonna go do the other short side it should take less time we're in the groove we don't have to walk as far to cut the pieces and yeah we got that done in less than an hour so that's pretty cool then we got the long front wall but we'll do that after lunch so let's go How many times have you guys seen this angle? Too many. All right, well, we finished the two short sides. We're gonna do the front, the front long side. <sighs> it's like two o'clock. Hopefully we're done by 3.30. Famous last words. There's Brian. Sometimes we know exactly what we need to do in order to achieve what needs to get done. Other times, we kind of stand around and stare at the problem until a solution appears. With the unevenness of the ground around the front of the house, it's really hard even to use our super tall ladder to reach the top of the front wall and especially reach around to where the fascia needs to be installed. After staring at this for a really long time, we realized it just couldn't be done with the two ladders in the situation that we have, and we were going to have to find a different way around it. Yeah, we are going to bust out the rope and harness. We, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to just go to the top of the roof and hang over and try to get this fascia on. We got, we basically made a giant slide, super wide, on the roof. So basically, you know, if I'm up there, I just slide back off. I'll be honest, you're more paranoid about sliding, start sliding, going over the front than the back. But having the rope and harness to prevent me from sliding back would be pretty ideal. Um, just so you know, I do have military grade boots on right here. Anti slip. Real military grade. Yeah, so if you ever see military grade on any of the stuff that you see as a civilian, that's just a freaking. Because <laughs> military grade is. It works. It gets the job done. Anti slip boots slip right off, doesn't matter. So, um, civilian grade, military grade, same thing. Anyway, just get this going. I'll probably fall off today. And, End of the video. We're actually gonna try one of our other nail guns because the, I think we we're using the 16 gauge, it's so bad. It's just like, we've only gotten two boards up and I think it's been an hour and a half. So Brian's gonna try an 18 gauge, unless I have that backwards and we'll see if that works. 
So as you can see here, even with the 18 gauge nail gun working better and not jamming as much as the 16 gauge, it still took us a long time to finish this one row. And for him to stay still long enough to get the nail gun in place and shoot it was really difficult. Meanwhile, I'm somewhere 18 to 20 feet up in the air on top of a ladder, not harnessed in, trying to hold this 12 foot board above my head multiple times. There's a reason it takes a long time for us to do this. And it's probably because we are doing this in the most difficult way we could probably think of. I'm no roofer man, ever. Again, never roofing after this roof. Nah, seriously though, if we ever, uh, only roof I'll be on next time to roof is if like it's a shed, it's no more than 11. 11 feet from the ground. That still won't kill me, it'll hurt. This probably won't even kill me, it'll hurt. I don't know, there's so many other things that you can have. I know a lift, you can have a scaffolding, you can have other stuff. I'm poor, bro. That's good, right? Yes, so the 18 gauge did work better than the 16 gauge. If we'd swapped to that as soon as we were having trouble, we actually would have finished today, but here we are. That's really tiring. As we shift gears to working on the interior of the house, the flow of our days is looking a little different. As Brian frames the interior walls, he has only one more small section left as I record this, he's taking it on as a solo project, while I work my nine to five and coordinate the logistics of the design elements. But don't take that to mean that I'm in charge of design and Brian's in charge of building. Far from it. He has way better taste and ideas than I do. But for my newly built and much loved already office, I'm able to take meetings, organize calls, and get our kitchen designs finalized, for example. The building process is going to feel sluggish as we get into the electrical and plumbing stages, which Brian is installing on his own. But once we're able to get that inspected and approved, we think we're going to be really motivated to get the insulation, drywall, and flooring in. Every day, as more of the walls go up, we make decisions on furnishings and appliances. It's one step closer to taking this house from an idea into reality. It's a reality that involves insulated walls, heating without any issues, and knowing we'll be able to get through the winter without the current struggles of RV living. And that is the one thought that gets us up in the morning and continuing to push forward. Thank you all for your support. It really does mean the world to us. A special shout out goes to our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support us, you can always follow the Patreon link in the description box below, and you can become one of our monthly supporters as well. As of this week, we are announcing we also have a brand new option for supporting Light at the Stars through YouTube memberships. You can learn more about that following this link in the description box below, or you can also check out the post that we made about it on the community tab of our channel page. We'll see you guys next week as we continue to make progress on the interior phase of our home building journey. No! Sorry, the first note. Thank you.